Rolling, rolling, rolling on a counter. Dun 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 dun. Um, I'm not sure where to look. Guess the camera's there. Hey everybody. I thought for this next video we could do a day in the life. Uh, the only problem is that it's. <laughs> it's one o'clock in the afternoon um, basically what happens is I sleep uh, Joel gets up at depending if Sawyer's at work he gets up at 4.30 picks up Sawyer at 4.45 and brings him home jo uh, Sawyer works nights brings him home if Sawyer is not going to bed Joel gets up at 5.45 and gets the kids up and to get them ready for school because their bus gets here about 6.30. And he gets Porter, Ella, and Emma up and gets them ready for school. Um, and they're pretty independent. They can, they're all older. So they get themselves dressed, get themselves breakfast. Um, and backpacks and everything, they can, they're really self sufficient so gets them on the bus and then he comes back to bed until um Fenton wakes up which is usually about 7:30, 7 o'clock 7 30 so he'll get a half hour 45 minutes in and then Joel lets me sleep and takes care of Fenton gets him dressed um he makes sure he has food I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, but this has been the pattern and this is how it is. Um, I was diagnosed with a severe acute uh, PTSD um, about two years ago, but I actually have had PSD, PTSD since about 2012. Um, and he has done everything in his power to take care of me and um, to make sure that I get the sleep that I need. Um, also, I have some thyroid issues going on and I have some issue hormone issues going on that we're getting checked out and I've had blood work taken and I've already talked about that in another, in another blog. So Joel lets me sleep. So I got up this morning about 10.30. He got up and I decided I'm so swollen on this side from uh, oral surgery that I had. Um, and I'm still in pain. So I'm still on ibuprofen every four hours. And last night I forgot to take ibuprofen in the evening and I got really, really sick. Like my whole body got really sick. And I looked at the clock and realized I had no pain medication in me. So um, anyway, I... I decided to go ahead and do my hair and put my makeup on and give myself a bright red lip um, to make myself feel better. I'm not going anywhere. Um, no one's going to see this, <laughs> but um, I just wanted to feel better. Um, so I'll try to catch more today. Um, Joel makes dinner every night. He loves to cook though. And regardless if I was in good shape or not, he would be making dinner 75% of the time because it's something he thoroughly enjoys cooking. And because of that, our children have a very broad palate and he cooks everything. Like every dish of every country, of every, he'll, he'll just figure it out. Anthony Bourdain was one of his favorites uh, to watch, and it was really hard for him when Anthony Bourdain passed away um, because Joel is kind of addicted to the Food Network <laughs> and um, loves food from different countries. And when he had the opportunity to travel a lot with his job, that was one of the things he loved so much was the food and the people. Um, he's very much a people person, and um, so I'll, I'll catch him making dinner. To be truthful, my living room and my kitchen are disasters, and so 
and I run out of energy, like need to close my eyes about two o'clock, my thyroid starts to shut down. And by five o'clock, I am absolutely done for the day. I'm shaking um, from the lack of energy that I have. So we're hoping we can get a solution for that and get some answers for that. Um, but I shouldn't say they're disasters. They just look lived in. They just look like I have six children. Like there's a train, car, a train set set up in the living room that takes up the majority of the living room. Um, some toys laying around. My kitchen, the dishwasher needs loaded. Um, there's some dishes there. But we'll give you an honest vlog, and I'll show you Joel cooking and. Uh, give you as much of a day in the life as we can. So I'm in my bedroom and my bed is kind of made. Yeah, so um, basically I have an amazing husband and I couldn't heal and couldn't be at the place that I'm at right now if it weren't for him. And um, I'm really spoiled to have him and I feel really blessed to have him. So that's that and We'll see if we can get some din him cooking dinner on here, and um, you'll get to see how we, how it goes around here. See you guys later. Hey, um, just so you guys get a sense of the realness of a day in the life, um, Emma and Emma's been home. Ella and Porter just got home. And the fighting started within about five seconds. So Porter was going to get on the video games. Emma thought he was grounded and refused to let him get on. So they were calling for Joel to come fix the problem. He works from home. But he was outside on the driveway uh, throwing about 30 pounds of salt. Um, because our roads right now are covered with inches of uh, ice. He can't drive. He kind of just coasts along and he fell while he was out there. He's okay. But there was a huge fight and I had to break it up. And um, so I just wanted to give you a dose of the real deal without humiliating my children and showing you the, the actual fight. Um, yeah, so that's it. Joel's going to be making dinner soon and I will take some footage of that. Bye. Egg rolls are the very best. Uh, unless, of course, you're a shrimp roll. No, egg rolls are obviously better. Uh, unless, of course, you're a shrimp roll, because shrimp rolls are the best and everybody loves them the most. Let's just be friends. Friends forever? Yep, friends forever. <laughs> Okay, the first thing you want to make sure you have is an appropriate sized wok. Not the whooshy finger hold! Nah, that one's too big. I'll get the smaller one. Much better. First thing is to make up the mix to go in the spring rolls. Sprouts. Can 
enormous, unquote, frozen chunk. I use paper bowls a lot. It's handy. Fresh basil. Okay, you want to know the real secret to making any food taste good? It's pretty easy. Fat, salt, acid, and heat. You get those combined at the right levels, and you got tasty. That's all I'm saying. It's easy. So I just scooted the pork to the side, kind of put the garlic down in the pork fat. It's going to take some of the harshness off of it if I let it just sizzle for a couple of seconds. And that pork fat's going to infuse it, and it's going to infuse the pork fat, and it's going to go all over the whole dish. It's not just bouillon. It's better than bouillon. I love this stuff. Time for the fried rice. coming together like peas and carrots. And it's time to fry for rice. Alright, get some flavor on the rice. Not hot enough yet. Still working on it. Okay, green onions go in almost last. Sesame oil. It's not a cooking oil. It's a garnish. Put it on after the heat's off. Pork fried rice. Shrimp rolls.
sweet chili sauce. Give me. Give me. There's the finished product. We got shrimp rolls, egg rolls, fried rice, and sauce. That's a sweet Thai chili sauce. Mandatory for egg rolls. Really good. All right. Big test. Mm -hmm. Well, here's a little up, but it's really kind of good with the hair. So, yeah, it's all right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all right. I'll all right. see the video. Hi. Now say bye. Bye. Say please subscribe. Bye. I love you. Bye. <laughs> say please subscribe. Okay. I'll see you later. Say please subscribe. No, no, no. All right, fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Daddy, I want to show you the face. Please subscribe. Everybody eating. Everybody happy. You happy? You happy? Oh, guys, huh, you did it. Congratulations. Oh, who's the happy couple? Uh, that's really cute. Oh, congratulations, guys, really. That's a good job.